Hi everyone, it's Andrea uh, again. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. Um, a few videos ago I said, did you want to see my all my Halloween related colouring books? And the answer was yes. And so I've got two stacks. Oops, I've just kicked the camera again. I'm always doing that. I've got two stacks here of books, which I'm going to show you. The first stack of books I've coloured in, so these are ones I've had for a while and I've either done one or more picture in. So I'm just going to move them to one side and I'll show you them all at one at a time. My tray is slipping off, I need to change my camera tripod and go back to the way I was doing it before I think. So the first one I've got is Lacey Sunshine's Halloween, I'll just uh, zoom in. I've had this one a while, I've done one picture in here somewhere. I won't be able to find it now, which was this one. Um, this one was done back in 2017. So I like that one. I would, they would have had a pebbles chalk background. Um, so that one, I haven't done anything since then. So I need to colour in this book again because they're not really difficult pictures, they're just fun. The next one is The Horror Hotel by A.M. Shah. Again, I've done, most of these have only done one picture in, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I've done one in this one as well which was the swimming pool. I did that last year when I was on holiday in um, Tenerife. So there's that one. Then I've got Night Magic by Selena Fennec. And again, I did one of these last year. There's two lots of pages in this book. I love Selena Fennec. I have so many of her books. And I can't, again, can't find the one I've coloured, so I'm not gonna spend for ages looking for it. It is, and it's the come fly with me one so I'm not that keen on that picture actually I think the background's not brilliant but it's what it is then we've got Jade Summer Haunted House this is out of print I think is it it's out of print or is it everyday horror it might be everyday horror I've, again I've only done one this I find it's quite busy and I did I did this one at the little chapel boarded up with the hand coming out and then I've got uh, Jade Summer Dark Fantasy I put this in because it is quite dark and horror-y so it's one that I've, I've coloured a picture in and I might colour another picture in if I feel like if I get time because obviously I want to colour in because I haven't coloured in and I did that one that one I only did that this year actually I only got this book this year and I did that this year and I do quite like that picture it was done with polychromos I've got Vampires Volume 1. This is the line art. I don't have the grayscale. And I did that one. And I did want to make him look a bit more rough and ready, so I gave him some chins double. He was too clean cut for my liking, so I just changed him a bit. And then Vampires 2. Again, I've only done one in this book, which was that one. I quite like that one. I don't know what I did on that one. It looks like it might be... I have no idea. I'm not going to even guess. I'm just showing you very quickly and then I've got this Halloween colouring book which again is Jade Summer there's some more Jade Summer coming in a bit they're just not all together um, I've done two in this one I think yeah I've done this one which was done with markers as you can see that and I've got some stickles on it but it made a bit of a mess and then I did this one and it did go through a bit but yeah she's cute I didn't do the background didn't feel like it Colouring Heaven Halloween special this was from last year think yeah last year and I've done a few in this one because again I took this book on holiday with me and then I did that one by Nikki Burnett and I like that and I haven't got any of Nikki Burnett's book and I really need to get them I might have a look at getting one when I get paid I do want to get a couple more more colouring books I did that one I like that one and I did I think there's one more maybe think and yeah I did this one by lemon shortbread I like that one I think that was really pretty colour in heaven book from the year before I've got that one and I've only done one in this book again there's some by uh Selena Fennec in here so I might have to do some of the little feedorable ones which I like and there it is there it is now I've done two in this one I've done this one and where's the other one I did? Was it Molly Harrison one? I've done another one, I know I did. And I've done that one. That was the first one I did. And I think the, the other one was done last year. 
but I'm not sure I'll have to check that one. Then, not really Halloween, but it is dead, it's dead, so it is related, um, which is a Creative Haven one. I've only got that one done. I must admit, I've got Jade Summer Sugar Scales, but I've done one in it, and it's in my pile of ones I need to haul, so I am not might get it in a minute for you. So there's this one. And then I've got Jade Summer Nightmare. They've just brought the grayscale out on this, but I've got the line out, so I am not buying the, gray, the grayscale version. Again, I've only done this one, which is the, the cover page. I I really enjoyed that one. I kind of wanted to make him own like death from um, Discworld. Because <laughs> I'm that way kind. Um, I will go and get the other Jade Summer in a bit, see if there's any more. Uh, Cute Witches, again Jade Summer, not horror, but it's still Halloween related. Done one in this one, which is this one. I enjoyed that one. And then Everyday Horror, again Jade Summer, got a lot of their books. This is definitely out of print because I know somebody was looking for it. And I've only done one in this book, I mean, it's not my favourite book. Um, and I don't really like the picture I did, but now I actually quite like it. It's quite a busy set of books, but yes. I, the Vampires at the Blood Spring at the Office Cooler. I think they're lawyers. <laughs> That's me just being daft. Right, I'm going to go and get uh, the other Jade Summer book. I want a second. There it is. Jade Summer Sugar Skulls, you'll have seen this because I think this video will be going up after the other one and I've just done that one and I did that with neons and they're neons um, gel pens and sparkly neon gel pens as well. I thought it would be fun, didn't do a background. Right, onto the books I haven't coloured in and I'll show you the pictures I'm hoping to colour as well because I have picked them out. Um, so in the first one this is the Alan Roberts Beauty of Horror 2. I do want to order another one and my ticket's fallen out of this one. Oh, I haven't put it in such a place where you can see it and now I don't know which one it is. I do know which one it is. I just don't know where it is. I fully intend to get another Alan Roberts book this year and I might colour in it and I can't find it now. Seriously, I'm sure I want this far forward. I know it's not this far forward. Where's it gone? That where's book one? Oh no, this is what I coloured in last year. I've got it in the wrong book. I've got it in the wrong pile, that's all. Yeah, sorry, I do apologise. Book one I haven't coloured in. I coloured in this one last year as well. And I did that one with the colour along with the Bibliophile colourist. I'm just not with it. I forgot that this was the one I coloured in because I got book two before I got book one because John was doing this one. And I wanted to do it as well, so. That was done with WH Smith watercolours, um, some ink tents. Yeah, an ink tent. <laughs> yeah, I like that book. It's a really good book. Right, now we're on to the ones I haven't coloured in, which is why they that hasn't got a tab in it. So we've got uh, Chibi Girls Horror. This is the line-out version. The grayscale version is out as well now. I have picked this one to do. And I'm looking at it. I'm not sure I want to, but no, I'm going to pick... I want to do this one. So there's that one. Whether or not I'll actually do all these is another matter, but these are the ones I'm hoping to colour. Then I've got Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn, because I've got to have a Halloween ha Hannah Lynn picture coloured uh, this time, and I've picked this one. Not sure why I picked that one, but I did. Yeah, don't know, but I did. There we go. I'm sort of wondering why I've picked them now. Um, I've got Kelly Horton's Little Dark Lens. I've only got the Christmas one now, I think, and the... Is it steampunk she's done? And I'm going to do this one with the little mermaid person. And I, I just like the background as well. I think it's really pretty and I can use pens, markers, um, gel pens and pencils on this one if I want to. So we're going to do that one. Now this is an interesting book. This book has got the pages on the opposite side. So rather than have them on the page they normally have, they're on the left instead of on the right hand page which is fine for me because I'm left handed it will be easier and I've chosen this uh, Mae West looking witch I like that one yeah 
it's a weird book, it's a weird, weird setup, but I quite like it. Then I've got Wicked Women uh, Grayscale Coloring Book. This is Photographs by Black River Art. Um, somebody, I bought this from somebody who'd already done one. Now this one is going to be just a simple because there's not a lot on there. It's just literally going to be putting skin tones on it and I can do it in either pen or markers. I'll probably do it in markers. I don't think it's particularly hor horrifying. She has got um, vampire teeth. And so I'm probably going to do her eyes red and some, put some red on the teeth as well and, and see how it goes. But it's not a particularly horrifying one. There are more horrible ones in there. I just don't fancy them. <laughs> da -da. I mean, that one's not particularly scary. That one's quite good. But I'm going to do that one. That, that one will take be very quick and it'll be easy to do. Uh, then I've got Witches by Jana Prosperina. Um, it's the only book I've got of hers. And I'm going to do this one. I like this one. I think it's just stunning. Well, they're all stunning. Let's, let's get it right. They're all stunning. Um, and now we're on to Beauty of Horror, the first one. So I've decided I'm going to do a double page spread in here. And I do have plans for it. And I'm going to do this double page of the two heads on the spikes and the the raven and all that and it, it, it looks it's not too complicated but it is so i want to use the neo color, color twos on the background i don't know what they'll be like on this paper but i'm hoping they'll be all right and this one i won't be doing on camera believe me it's just going to be too long to do uh, but i will be doing this one this one's going to be my main project for the month i think and i've got this book which is more autumn than halloween although it does have several halloween pictures in it but it goes right through the season of autumn it's got fireworks night in it which is a british thing guy Fawkes night which is november the 5th um, but i'm just going to do the the cover one i like it it's not too difficult it's a, just a basic simple witch and yeah i'm gonna do her so that'll be fun then i have got Halloween Darlings by Deborah Muller, which is this one, which I bought especially for this year. And I have chosen out of this book, uh, this one. I've put the ticket on the other side for some reason, uh, because I think she's kind of like the Bride of Frankenstein and I'm gonna kind of do it like that. <laughs> R.I.P. I'm a goner. So I like that one. Oh, nearly end, two more to go. We've got the Colour in Heaven Halloween special. Now I've actually started one in this so I will show you it because this is probably the one I'm going to finish. I might do some more in it because there's some nice ones in here and I've got to find it. And you just know I'm going to be able to find it. I have started it. I haven't, I've got a lot more to do and I'm doing this one which is called Conjuro or Conjuro. So I've started it um, and I'll finish that in October. I can't see me getting to it before the end of the month, before the end of September which is when I'm actually filming this video. But yeah, um, I'm enjoying doing it actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm using the Black Widow on that one. And finally we have got Deborah Miller's Got Graveyard Queens. Um, I haven't marked one in this but the one I am thinking of doing is, if I can find it. Nope, it's further back than that. Um, what I want to do is, not that one. I like that one, it is this one, of the wizened old fortune teller. The tiny crystal ball and a tooth and I really like that, I'm going to do that one. So those are my, well, that's my current collection of Halloween related books. Obviously uh, with witches and uh, horror stuff you don't have to wait until Halloween to do it. It's just, you do it when you feel like it and that's what I tend to do. Um, but twice a year, only twice a year do I pull out a books and do a themed month and that is Halloween and Christmas. So at Christmas I'll be pulling all the Christmas books out and we'll be doing this again I expect. Um, I will be buying a couple more books, like I said I want another one of the Alan Roberts books, I don't know which one. And I might have to get a Nicky Burnett one, I'm not sure, I'm going to have a quick look around just when I get paid, get paid soon. And they'll come sometime in the month and then I'll uh, decide what to do on them. And on top of this, I'll be doing my patterns because I, I do my patterns when I'm quizzing because then I don't have to concentrate, I just like put a colour down. 
so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed um seeing what coloring books i'm hoping to color in and in the ones i haven't colored in which ones i want to color which pictures if there's a particular book i've mentioned that you want to see me color on camera let me know in the comments below i can certainly arrange that that's not going to be a problem at all in fact i'm happy to do it for you so there we go uh, that's it for this let me know what you want to see me color in in um october please don't say alan roberts because the double page is so huge <laughs> though i will if you want me to just let me know down below and i'll see you in the next video bye guys